Hey there, today I'm going to be waking up refreshed, ready for some parkour speedrunning because I'm going to try and complete all 265 levels in 20 minutes. So yeah, we're gonna get started, start on the easy levels, but this does actually get harder as it goes on. I don't know why you're standing here. But yeah, I've reached level 2 already, I haven't stopped yet, and I'll be as quick as I can with these levels. And there we go, that's better. We just need to walk across, simple as that. And we've nearly done, and yes, this one's impossible while speedrunning. Well, this one's possible while speedrunning I meant. <laughs> So yeah, this one's a pretty hard one as well because you have to jump really precisely and make sure you fit into that gap. This one is even worse, you have to try and guess it. And that was a waste of time, wasn't it? We're only on level 9 and it's already been 2 minutes. I'm stuck on a level, you know. Okay, so that one was kind of possible with with speed running so yeah i kind of wanna speed run and go through all these levels real fast wonder how many we could get completed in 20 minutes this one is a really hard one but we made it first try this one is an interesting one because you have to jump up the green ones and that's pretty much it this one you don't even need to jump this one's just a literal staircase but eventually your mouse will get to the end of the thing so you might have to restart your mouse at some point this one is a pretty hard one because there's big jumps going down big jumps going down are you kidding me this one you don't even need to jump this is another running one this one you have to try and guess the doors but if you know the pattern already, fair enough, you can still make it. But this one is another interesting one where you have to jump over and climb up. This one, yes. This one, you have to try and stay in the middle, but somehow get over it as well, because you need to reach the other side. But that will still help. This one, my friend is pretty easy this one is a pretty hard one because you have to jump on the right side this one is easy you just have to jump on the cylinders this one is also easy except there's bigger cylinders but it's easy enough this one my friend is another one of these it's kind of annoying when we encounter those to be honest i don't think we're going to get all of the levels completed 47 he's a really tight jumping one but it was still possible number 48 we had to jump on some more balls and you had to watch out for where you was going but at the end it wasn't too bad number 49 yeah you have to make some pretty precise jumps but it's still possible number 53 is interesting because you have to Look across these things. No, no, this is number 54. Number 54, you have to jump on trees. Noted. And yeah, it's still possible, except you have to make some jumps on the trees, but that's okay. Number 55, here we are. And we're climbing up a giant Roblox guy. There we go. So yeah. This one is kind of possible, but it's got some really precise jumps, and you, and it's really hard not to fall off. I thought that was a button there. 59! We're going back down to these levels. 60! There we go. This is a really easy level. We can... Okay. This is quite a hard one already. 
this one you have to make a lot of precise jumps but it was okay no I'm on 69 I think never mind let's just go through the levels without counting them. this one is quite an interesting one because you have to balance a lot and it takes a while to complete so yeah but it will still be doable this one is an interesting one my friend this one you have to try and cheat to get on it if you want to do speed running this one is an interesting one because you're jumping on weird chair shaped thingies this one is another sliding one which you have to be careful on because you need to stop and go through easy. this one is a really hard one even I can't figure this one out all I have to do all that helps me is basically just doing this but this one this is interesting Wait, this one is right so it's blue blue and something else if you know the pattern you'll probably be able to do this but not me but we still got a lot more levels to go so yeah we'll be doing this for a while this one is an interesting one because yeah we haven't even reached the halfway point yet so yeah this one is a very interesting one because you have to jump on a lot of these this one is really interesting because you have to balance as well which is kind of hard but as long as you're precise you should make it this one is gonna be a pretty hard one but it will be possible eventually the next one will involve some skill practice and that's that this one pulls you backwards noted but never mind you can still make it this one is another balancing one and you make sure you don't touch the light green this one you have to try and carefully read but you'll literally just reach that bit this one is kind of annoying because look at this this one is just a basic cylinder one this one is another oh. weird jumping thing one mind we'll try that one again so yeah this one is a pretty hard level as long as you're precise with your jump you should eventually make it but trust me it is a lot harder than it looks what are you supposed to do oh. you don't avoid the triangles you have to jump on them silly me let's just get on to the actual level but it is pretty hard you have to time your jumps absolutely perfect yes this one is pretty easy you just have to jump over these things there we go hope we don't fall off at the last second okay so this level is quite a hard one because you have to make some precise jumps on that there's a really interesting one because you have to jump on this one this one one of these are terrible oh welcome to the uber noob and to go right this one is a really interesting one because you have to go down and up like crazy but you can just jump your way around Ooh. this one is the worst kind of level this is like an annoying staircase one i've even seen someone fell off just now <laughs> which is weird yeah i always get distracted by the things above me but i think i'm nearly at the top now yeah we did it just a few precise jumps and then you should be good to go this one was really hard on my tablet you had to jump like crazy you have to be careful with the wires oh dear the wires would always do this to me done okay so yeah um 
we're at the top bit. Probably take me like 40 minutes. I was going to do a 20 minute one, but yeah. And yeah, not the finish line of the entire obstacle course. Bruh. There's still a lot more levels to go, trust me. And it's been 35 minutes since I started this recording. So yeah, let's do this level. And that's basically that. Not supposed to go in the purple. Okay, so this one's going to take a while to do because I've absolutely no idea what I'm doing. So yeah, this is quite a hard level. There we go, we made it. Double <coughs> This one is, this bit is a bit easier since it goes down, not up. This one you have to avoid the green poles, which is pretty easy. Look, the person at the top of the leaderboard is nearly at the finish line. I'm nowhere near the finish line yet. This one you just have to jump on some balls, really simple and very easy. This one, easy, just have to run across, that's it. Okay, almost there, and then there's a big gap at the end. This one's another relative mega foot bobby one, but it's okay. This one is nowhere near relative. Oh dear, my microphone's going all crazy. <coughs> at least it spawns you back. And there we go. That invisible wall one was the same. The exact same as the mega front obby one, but with less op more opacity. This one, I don't know what these things are for, but why is there a ginormous weird thing? Oh no! But, uh, so yeah, this one is a simple button thing one. This one is another one from the mega front obby, and it's possible. Oh, I nearly fell. This one isn't from the Mega Fun Obby, but it just requires a lot of jumping and stopping and stuff. This one is a really relative level from the Mega Fun Obby. That's the level that I encountered when I finished part two. <coughs> 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 repeating the exact same thing <laughs> so it's definitely not the middle ones. why do I keep spawning on these things and I keep ending up upside down and all that yes yeah, so every time I spawn back in I end up being upside down that's better 229 is not such a bad one it's just like involves stepping on a Lego that's just weird. Yeah, and it's really thick as well. I'm so close. We might do it where we exactly hit one hour of recording time. So that. 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 Yeah, it's all red ones. This one. Yeah. Obviously doable because it's a balancing one, that's pretty much it. There we go. That's better. We're at the play playground now. I didn't even realise. Let's do this. Wee 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 I believe I can fly. What am I doing? Wee, we are going all over the place. This is insane. Look at this view from up here. Anyway, if you enjoyed, hopefully you did. Now we can have fun at the playground together with my friend. Yeah! Anyway, hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and also subscribe. I can just listen. Anyway, check out my other videos which are just here. Hit that notification bell and that subscribe button and that like button as well. And anyway, I'll see you in the next time. Goodbye!